Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick video on lightning arrest roosters protection devices uh, here in Northern California. Starting to get that time of year. I'm wearing my camo hat because it's almost that time of year, but it's getting to be that time of year all around the United States when we start getting those calls uh, about um, lightning protection and units uh, that were in an area that was affected by a lightning strike. So. This is very common, the PB guys, you know, we've been using these uh, SPD, surge protection devices, lightning arrests, whatever they call it uh, these days. And it's probably a pretty good idea to use. It's not required, it's always a, an optional uh, piece of equipment, but, but depending on the area of the United States that you're in, if you're prone to lightning storms, then it's probably not a bad idea. Um, I, don't, I don't get the installers who call us and they're mad that we didn't talk about lightning protection um, in our training or we didn't emphasize it enough or something like that it's like dude this is just common stuff man like if you're worried about lightning hitting your equipment then protect it like i don't get that but uh there's there's a lot of different ways to protect your equipment right um i'm i always i always liked uh midnight solar's approach and the the cool blue looking uh truth protection device that they have and I'll, I'll put a link to it in the video or, or down in the comments or something um not not endorsing the product you know we don't want to hurt anybody else's feelings but i just like that approach it's nice and easy uh but most surge protection devices have the, the same kind of mechanical connection, right? It's either connected to a breaker or you pigtail it on, on another breaker, you know, in the main panel. Uh, you know, been using them in combiner boxes, you know, forever um, to protect arrays. And so there's a lot of different um, types of surge protection devices out there. I just, you know, like uh, Robin's uh, solution. So, uh, but if you have one that works really well, just put it in the comments, put a link to it. And, uh, you know, the more we can get out uh, to the uh, industry, the better, right? So these things are, are, are pretty important. I mean, nothing is going to protect against a direct lightning strike, right? Now, if you want that kind of protection, well, then you need to get uh, lightning protection, right? That is a completely different thing than what I'm talking about here, okay? Lightning protection is a separately derived system. It, you put lightning rods all over the house, you pound in the ground rods, and that lightning protection system has no connection whatsoever to the electrical distribution in the house. So if you get a lightning strike, you're probably better off than a surge protection device and protecting your equipment. But even then, I, I don't know. It's, uh, to me, it's just a roll of the dice, right? And I, I have a great sea story. I've been telling this for years, and it just it just fits, right? So uh, many of you know I was in submarines for 20 years, and we were out floating in the Pacific, and I was sitting on sonar, and I could see and hear the rain squalls coming down both sides of the boat, right? We were just puddling along. We were at periscope depth, so we had our scope sticking up. And when your scope is sitting, you know, this high off the top of the water, I mean, that is... The highest point around yeah and there was a junior officer sitting on the scope it got hit with lightning it scared the hell out of that guy and he bounced back didn't hurt him which always fascinated me how you can ground something like a periscope that's floating in the water right it was just always a fascinating concept to me uh we pulled into guam they looked at the scope and they ended up just basically um scrapping it right just throwing the ditch But the point being, that was the best type of surge protection that taxpayer money could buy on that scope, right? And even then, that wasn't enough to protect it. So, you know, whether you're buying a surge protection device or if you're getting a lightning protection system around the house, I mean, you're, you're hoping that the surge protection device, the SPD, is going to stop a 3 million volt thing of lightning starting at 30,000 feet in the air in a space that's about that big. Yeah, so I mean, good luck with that, but if it makes you sleep better at night and if it will keep the the indirect strikes to a minimum and, and protect the equipment, then by all means put it on there. It's, it doesn't cost that much and it's just great peace of mind. So like I said, if you have um, any other products that you like, put them in. 
The only thing, these surge protection devices, just like uh, rapid shutdown with firemen, they may give you a false sense of security. So just remember that nothing is going to protect against uh, a, a direct hit. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's it for lightning protection. It's pretty easy. Um, see you next time. Bye.